While the primary focus of my video game collecting is games themselves, I do indulge in related toys and novelties on occasion. Some of my favorites are this line of miniature arcade cabinets. These are labeled under the world's smallest banner, which has lots of cool mini versions of vintage and nostalgic toys. This is the tiny arcade line. Small reproductions of full-size cabs and they are actually playable, albeit with a low resolution screen. I rapidly picked up the three initial releases. Eventually, they added more, including Pac-Man here. As I said, this isn't the primary focus of my collecting, but if I can grab oddities such as these, especially cheaply, I feel almost obliged. Here's an older style, segmented LCD version of Pac-Man from a few years back. This is the type of toy I typically ignore, but for $2.50, I had to get it. But that's not all. I was also able to get Centipede and Asteroids and Super Breakout and Missile Command. There is no shortage these days of replica cabinets at nearly any scale and price point, but for whatever reason, I really like these tiny arcade toys the best. So when I saw a tweet from Retro Rejects showing a newly released version of Pac-Man, I knew I had to track it down. So here it is. This is a miniature cocktail cabinet, or as they call it, tabletop edition of Pac-Man. Isn't it lovely? Well, what am I waiting for? Let's unbox it and check it out. So very cool. I do notice that on an actual cocktail machine, the controls would be on the ends and the screen would be oriented the other direction, but as a playable toy I see why they adapted the design. Also since it has the same screen size, it's a safe bet that all of the internals are the same as the previous releases. But enough about appearance, let's check out some gameplay. As you can see, it's a fully fledged version of Pac-Man. It seems to move a little slower, but honestly, that's giving me a fighting chance here. I'm not sure if the ghosts have the same capture AI as in the original, but I did note some familiar patterns, like Blinky staying on my tail, or them scattering to the four corners. And I'm pretty sure I saw examples of them illegally doubling back on their path. I wasn't really playing for score here, but rather screen progression. I wanted to see if the cutscenes were present. Pac-Man doesn't have a high score table, but I don't mind, it already has my name in it. It was a bit difficult to capture this gameplay at this size. I don't have a proper macro lens, and you might notice that every time I move the joystick, the screen rocks a little. I was trying to hold it as firmly as I could, but at this size, the slightest flex is noticeable. Full color, attract mode, and original cutscenes. Not bad for a screen the size of my thumbnail. So where can you get this? That's the funny part. This is currently exclusive to the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store. I never would have thought to check there, so thanks again for that tweet. It's available on their online shop, but I decided to travel to our nearest location some 30 miles away. While I was there, I was able to check out other tiny arcade items, including Frogger, and they have a new line called Boardwalk Arcade, which features this very neat two-screened Ninja Turtle pinball game. I'm not particularly interested in completing the set, but a Qbert, Galaga, or Tetris might just make the Christmas list. There is something really pleasing about having your own home arcade. So what about you? You ever catch Pac-Man fever? Are these the types of things you add to your collection? Had you heard of this tabletop edition? Let me know your arcade experiences in the comments below.